Hi all, um, this is um, a quick update on my uh, connecting my Raspberry Pi to my Motorola Atrix lap dock. Um, I'm going to do this in a number of bits and pieces and join it all together so hopefully it comes out okay. Um, there's been a video showing the cabling, um, so, sorry there was a website showing the cabling which I've put a link up to, um, but I think this is slightly better. The only reason is you haven't got to do complicated soldering, get lots of cables you know, and join in etc etc. Um, and I think this um, might be a bit easier for, for a lot of people to do. Uh, plus the fact, um, some of these cables you have to order from China, so if you order one and you ruin it, you've got to wait another two or three weeks to get it back. So anyway, see what you think of this. Um, uh, comments or flames, I don't mind. Okay. Okay, so as far as the HDMI was concerned, originally the, um, the document said get one of these little adapters, which is um, a female micro HDMI, and you plug it into... Sorry into the I'll show you where okay you, uh, let's do this properly shall we hang on bring this over right you plugged it into here and then you connected up this huge great cable and then plugged that into your raspberry pi well um it seemed to me i could do the same kind of job by buying one of these now this is i got this from um amazon and it's just a, uh, a fem um, female, yeah, female HDMI uh, to male, but it obviously plugs into the Raspberry Pi like that, and then we can literally just stick it in there like that. So that actually mounts it on the back. Uh, good points and bad points on that. Um, obviously, yeah, but I'll come back to that in a second. One key thing is you'll notice now you can get this when you get the, these arrive in like two days so it's actually if you muck it up it's not the end of the world but you'll notice I've shaved the left hand side down flash flush um, as opposed to the other side which has got a rounded end now you'll see why in a moment right the next part you need which this does come from China um, there's a female USB, but the most important bit is the uh, I believe this is female I was given away the um, the micro USB cable. Now, uh, what I do is this is for the um, Atrix passing on the keyboard and mouse data. And what they say is when you do it, you need to cut the power lead. Well, it's kind of dawned on me. Well, I'll tell you what, what we'll do is we'll just get one of these, which is just a, a cheap. 25 centimeter cable we'll plug it in okay now you'll see here on this cheap one I've actually I don't know if you can see it but I've chopped the day the red the red cable now do this on the one you can get a lot of I mean this is 50p this cable or something like that and they turn up in two days so do it on the bit that if you if you get it wrong which is so easy <laughs> if you get it wrong it's not the end of the world um, and then you can just take that up okay now um, the final cable is this one, which I've, you see, I've kind of I'm going to do a bit more looping on this to make it a little bit neater and smaller. This is just a normal USB to uh, the micro power thing, which you get on the mobile phone adapters. Yeah, you've probably seen all those. Right, so hang on. Okay, so we've got this cable here. So I've I've extended it on the one with the cut. Okay, and I'll plug it into my USB port okay and then I plug that straight into there so basically it more or less holds it now I then need to add the the normal power lead now obviously if you do it the way it's described in the instruction that's fine because you end up with two two cable uh, sorry one cable and you free up the slot but I, by doing this and I'm using one extra power slot but now it's all working so before I cut that power lead there and don't forget to tape all this up but before I cut that power lead this would have turned on by now um, which has obviously been very annoying um, you notice also I've got here a little that uh, little Wi-Fi for my mouse so now I can open it up in fact you can see the see the light coming on and you will see then now I'm going to stop this and just skip because you don't need to see all this. Okay, so so now you can see it's all booted up. Um, let me just show you first of all. You can see my, I've got my mouse, external mouse working. 
Okay, so you can see that. But just to show it working, right? I'll use my my I'll use my mouse, my touch tablet, sorry, and the mouse button. So that's now moving around. And also, obviously, kind of important is the fact that the keyboard works. Uh, come on. Okay, so we'll type in here. Uh, let's, there you go. So, see, working fine. Key thing is cutting that data lead, but uh, the only the, the good thing about this is it just it it saves you from um, making a joined cable. It does lose you a USB slot, okay, socket, and uh, it means with this setup with that keyboard and the mouse, I've st but I've still got one left. And which I could put into a hub. I mean, you know, but I've still got one left if I want to plug it in. For example, here we go. I'll get this and I will plug that into there. All right, so now you can see it's powering this up. Now let's go over here and load up. Uh, hmm. so you can see that mounted mm -hmm. there we go the uh, Linux stuff does take quite a bit longer to load up if you do the AWOS one this is one of the reasons for doing this is because like, the AWOS one loads up much quicker but uh, it anyway, doesn't matter so you can see I've got movies here because this, this is my, uh, my, my movie drive There you go, and if I scroll down, um, hmm. let's try this. There you go. Oh, because it's not really much, of, probably not a very good demo. This one. Uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. So, um, nice way of wiring it all up. Okay, cheers. Thanks a lot.